All right, just a quick video. Uh, this one's an alternative method to importing into Unreal Engine. Uh, if you want to have it completely set up for Unreal Engine in terms of uh, forward facing. In the last video, I left the direction as Y up and Z forward, like uh, much like this here, with the uh, axis like this. And the reason I did that, um, because someone mentioned in the comments that uh, X is actually forward and Z is up. And the reason I left it as is, um, and the settings I imported on Unreal was because a lot of people that watch these videos are either beginners, people that didn't know a little bit of information, or that are solo devs, and they tend to buy models off websites or pay a professional to make their characters and assets and do rigging and stuff like that, and they generally come as Y up, and when you start messing with the rotations of bones and stuff like that, and especially if you, um, say, go up to modify and you freeze the transforms, Maya especially doesn't export the rotation access out. Um, it's only the transforms, so the actual uh, the, the location, so like this. And actually, if you move it, the second you freeze those transforms, it reverts it to like zero, 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 and it will import at 90 degrees, and it's just, you just can't fix it. And that's why I did it this way. But I'm going to show you the alternative method, um, which lets you follow Unreal exactly, okay? Um, so X forward and Y up. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to jump in uh, to your project and you want to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Preferences, uh, head down to Settings and you want to change uh, to Z up, okay? And then change this to Meter and hit Save. Next thing you want to do is you hit your Perspective Camera and head over to the Attribute Editor tab, this one here, and make sure the Perspective Shape is selected. You want to check the Near Clip Plane here, and we want to set that to 0.1. And then the one underneath, which is the Far Clip Plane, you want to set that to 100K, so we'll go 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, and hit Enter. And as you can see up the background there, it, um, it extended the grid. Uh, all right, so the next thing we want to do is you've probably noticed that the pivot point and everything's off um, of the camera. So to fix that, we first go to view and then look at selection and that will reset your camera to the new grid direction like so. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we go up to the box here that looks like a grid, so a box with little boxes in it, right click and go grid options. And we want to set the length and width to a thousand, enter the snapping to 10 and the subdivisions to 1 enter hit apply now the last thing we want to do is we want to uh, get your model ready facing the correct direction so you've imported your model now what you want to do this is only for uh, importing models that are in the correct incorrect direction um, this this last part otherwise if you're making it um, from scratch so importing a new model like so um, you're going to know that um, X is forward and work in the correct direction. But let's say you don't have the correct direction, so we're going to select our model, which is wrong. We're going to go rotate key, which is um, E, and we're going to hold J for snapping. We're going to bend this forward, so it's now uh, Z up, and we're going to run a make the model face forward now. As we can see, uh, it's matching this one, so X forward, which is correct down here and Z up. So that's all right. So we're just going to double check here. And as you can see, it's 90 degrees on the X and um, Z. So now we need to fix uh, the transforms by freezing them. Yep, that's correct. Uh, we want to delete the history. Uh, and by delete history, it's by type history. Uh, do not do history if your model's got uh, any form of rigging or uh, what do you call it? Blend shape animation, anything animation related. Um, you don't do history, do the non deformer history because it will wipe it. So now that we've gotten everything reset and everything looks good, we're going to go file and export this out. Now, normally you can leave tangents and binormals unticked. Um, so just export it out, and if it's all good, it's all good. But if it says that you've got nearly zero tangent and binormals, make sure you tick this. And always make sure you've got the smoothing groups ticked here. 
So I'm going to export that out. It's going to be warm. Yep. So let's just quickly minimize that and go into Unreal Engine. So we're going to go right click where you want it, import to game. We're going to select the model we just exported out. So I've just closed everything down just so you can kind of see what I'm clicking on. So let's just have a look. So we transform, no, let's run on mesh, advanced. Okay, okay, let's have a look. Okay. So let's minimize that again. So we'll go mesh, advanced, and then scroll down to transform vertex to absolute. We want to make sure that's off because what's going to happen is, is it's going to go off of the uh, rotation in Maya, which is, um, so if I press E, you can see that, see how it's red? Um, that's actually the X direction and Maya doesn't let you change the pivot point of the rotation uh, on, on the model. So it'll import sideways into, oh, my bad, into Unreal Engine like this. So it'll import facing forward on its side like that into Unreal Engine if we do that. So we're going to go in and we're going to make sure Transform Vertex Absolute is off. Now we're going to hit Import, and as you can see, the model's in. So we've got um, in the left-hand corner here, so X forward, which is this way, and we've got Z up, which is that way. I'm just going to clear these real quick, previous attempts. <laughs> now once we drag this in, uh, you'll notice that uh, it is now in the correct direction by default without having to convert anything. So it's uh, X forward, Y up, and that's how you do it. I hope this video helped, um, and just leave me a comment if you just want to know something or you feel like something's missing, and um, I'll update. Thank you.